Hello, good afternoon, festive greetings. I'm taking you on a very special trip with me today. I <laughs> uh, hope you're having a good lead up to Christmas. It's uh, 20th of December, but it's really mild and I don't have a coat on at all. There's other people still with a coat on, but I'm way too warm. But I'm starting to think maybe now that I've turned 40, I'm going through some ch ch, -ch changes. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> My thermostat's broken anyway. So, last video I mentioned... Oh, by the way, if it's your first time, I'm Lara and welcome. This is Frugal Full, which is a budgeting, frugal, eco-living type lifestyle channel. So I hope it's helpful, useful, inspirational, uh, entertaining, whatever, whatever you want it to be, positive. So last video I mentioned that um, I like to sometimes swap for things rather than buy them. I really love these kind of community models where it's challenging the idea of like your kind of typical uh, economy model of buying for items like trading for items, swapping, bartering. I love that kind of template, that kind of model for exchange of items, goods, services, skills, that kind of thing. I find that really inspirational. And there's another major way, not as much recently since the pandemic, but there's another way prior to that and probably again in the future that I used to engage in bartering and swapping in a big way. A really great thing that I hope is more and more prevalent around the whole country, around the world. But um, the place I'm going to take you today is a swap shop, a swap boutique. And it's a really amazing place. Um, this particular one, they're in the there's three, I think there's three now, or there might only be two left. They're in the Greater Glasgow area and they're called Revolve. So it's like a swap shop, swap boutique thing where rather than buying, you can buy some items in there, but like the majority of the things that aren't bought, they're swapped and it's a point system. So when you sign up, you get, I think you get 20 points when you sign up and then certain items are worth certain amounts of points. So accessories are one point. I think coats are three trousers and tops or two that kind of thing and they weigh everything that comes in and they weigh everything that goes out so they're able to tell people how much has been saved from landfill each year how many tons of, of like textile what would be textile waste saved from landfill and they do these kind of eco workshops things like wreath making and that kind of thing um, oh my hat <laughs> My hat just blew away, whoops. <laughs> um, anyway, we're nearly there. But yeah, it's just such a great model, such a great business model for a shop idea. As to say, some things are still purchased with money, but hardly any of the stuff, most of it's swapped, and it's just such a brilliant concept. So I'll be back soon. This is it here, Revolve. Haberdashery and swap shop. And it's open, woohoo. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> That was so amazing. Oh my gosh. So um, really delighted with what I got. Points were well used. One purchase of a fiver as well. Um, really, really lovely people in there. Had such a nice chat. Um, yeah, that was great. <laughs> and I love the fact it's so good for the environment as well. It's a total win-win. So that was my first frugal activity of the day. Now I'm rushing, I've just missed the train I was meant to get. I'll get there with five minutes to spare and have to walk very, very fast to find the wee room. But I'm on my way to the second frugal activity of the day, which is a fabric wreath making workshop. It's like, oh, I'm meant to go down here. Oh no, I'm not, it's okay. <laughs> it's upcycling, um, using fabric scraps to do a wreath making workshop so again good for the environment of a really nice free community event my friend's going to come meet me there and uh, yeah excited for that can't wait
just going to head home after a really lovely evening seeing my friend and we went to Weatherspoons, which is cheap and cheerful after our wreath making workshop and it's been really lovely, nice and Christmassy but also frugal. <laughs> show you what I got. So as I say Revolve is really great. They've got three shops in the Greater Glasgow area and um, it's just such a great concept as I was saying out in the wind <laughs> earlier on but um, I really love the whole idea so it's mostly swapping for things using points, weighing what comes in and what goes out so they can see how many tons of fabric are wasted. Um, saved from being wasted and going into landfill each year. They also have Regenti's haberdashery, so they sell buttons, zips, beautiful fabrics, all kinds of things. They do different kinds of workshops so they can help people learn how to use a sewing machine and make do and mend and all that kind of thing, which is really great. So yeah, they're really excellent, really excellent organisation. Actually, at one of their locations, they do um, vegetable planting as well. They've got raised beds, so they're a very positive thing in the community. They also help a lot of people, give them packs of clothing um, for people, for adults and their kids as well, who are struggling to afford. I mean, the cost of living crisis is making clothing harder to afford for so many people. But for people who are really, really struggling, they hand out things for people, which is just wonderful. There's so much good work that they do. They do sell a few things in there, but the price is really low and really reasonable. And it all just helps with the running costs to keep things going. It's mainly run by volunteers. It's really excellent. And I don't know whether there are many other swap shops out there. I do know there was a swap shop on the south side of Glasgow that, and it sadly ended up closing down, they ran out of funding but they used to swap for bric-a-brac, books, toys for kids and they even did skill swaps as well which I thought was such an amazing thing and it was very sad that it didn't end up being able to stay. But I just hope that in society we're going to have more and more things like this. I think it's a really positive, proactive and creative response to the cost of living crisis and a way for people to feel empowered and a way for people to be together in the community helping one another and feeling like they have a voice and a valuable part to play which is so important for well-being it's just yeah it's a win-win so i will show you what i got without further ado <laughs> so usually i so i have um, a jacket, a cardigan and a dress which I think would all normally be three points each and I have a skirt that would be two points, a top that would be two points and two scarves that would be a point, one point each but I think because it's Christmas I was only charged one point per item so it was amazing. So I still have eight points left, I think. So that was great. So starting with the most Christmassy first, I found a sparkly party dress and this nice scarf in a kind of matching color. I really like this kind of thing. I'm a bit of a hippie chick if you can't tell. <laughs> like the kind of bohemian style things a lot and then um that top i like these kind of floral pants so i mean these things are all really nice quality and the fact that they were free and recycling things just feels very positive because um you know it's cost of things full price in the high street stores it's just ridiculous and 
it feels so wasteful as well when there are perfectly good clothes that have hardly been used and a lot of clothing ends up being thrown out every year, secondhand things, and it's just such a shame. So as I've mentioned before in, in pre a previous video, almost everything I have is secondhand and swapping is my favourite way out of everything. Of, of how to do it because it's, as I say, very positive for the environment. So, this is a very long, nice autumn cardigan that isn't going to fit in the video, but it will be very practical. And this scarf, which has kind of got lacy bits on it, that will be a nice match. Oh, I should also say that if I pick up anything ever these days, it's only things that I can really see myself using and the beauty of it is if I changed my mind then it can all go back and just get recycled so it's a win-win and then this is a nice long skirt so I think that will be a nice summery thing and this is also a summery thing which is this jacket, it's got a slight mark on it, but I think I'll be able to get that out. No bother. So, and then the final thing I did actually pay for, but it was only five, it was five pounds, which I think is really reasonable. It's an M&S coat. Again, it seems to be autumn themes today. <laughs> So it's a nice long bottom coat, so it's good because it's not too heavy like a lot of winter coats would be, so yeah, so that was what I found. So thank you so much for watching, um, as I say I don't know how commonplace these swap shops are across the country and, and globally, but I just hope more and more places do decide to give it a try because I feel it can only be a positive thing so yeah I really do hope that that's gaining more and more popularity but just to share something that I definitely feel is a real positive as you can tell I've made that very clear <laughs> so yeah thank you very much again for watching and best wishes bye